Hi folks, and welcome to another 5 minute demo. This time we're going to be looking at Sienna NDI Processing Engine. The NDI Processing Engine is a universal dynamic glue rack using NDI technology to link together little processing modules that would normally be done by hardware in traditional baseband workflows. Here in NDI Processing Engine you can see we've got a range of around 40 at the moment different processing modules that do all kinds of things that you might normally want to do audio embedding, de-embedding, distribution, keying, uh, up-down conversion, aspect ratio conversing there's also multi-viewers and meter bridge and things like that um, so the whole range and the range is expanding all the time what we're going to take a quick look at today is a workflow using a couple of new modules which are the new MXF recorder modules and the media player and video loop modules what I've got here is a little frame where I've set up a media player here which is going to play a video file off disk. I've got a video loop which is just going to play a standard video file in a loop. I've got a test pattern um, which is generated within the processing engine and then I've also added a couple of uh, NDI source connect modules. These are actually going to link into other NDI sources on the network where I've got some more external signal generators and I've put everything into a 3x3 meter bridge uh, multi-viewer and also I've got a meter bridge so we can have a closer look at some of the audio um, and we're using our web link module here which allows us to view uh, any of the modules just by clicking on the little television icon we can see what that module is doing and as we can see this video loop is a little countdown similarly if we look at the test pattern here we'll see that we've got this rather curious test pattern and of course if we look at the output of the multi viewer we'll see everything together and that includes the new meter bridge output, which is a audio level meter, but it's also got history, which is nice. Um, and this can be very useful for different applications. And of course you can label everything as you want with the meter bridge and also the multi-viewer. We're also using the AS67 to NDI module, and that's bringing in a feed from a Dante Avio uh, interface here, which is one of the things that we're looking at on the meter bridge. I think it's one of the audio feeds that we've got on here. Then we've also got um, some MXF recorders and we're going to be recording the output of the media package and then doing some edit during capture in Adobe Premiere. So in order to do that we basically choose our source which in this case is going to be the media playback. That could be a live video source for example and I'll also take the countdown and record that into here and I've given the predefined folder and the base, base name. They're going to get um, timestamp suffixes to keep them unique. and if we just have a quick look at the multi-viewer here, we can view it with the web link as I did earlier. Or if you like, you can, because it's a native NDI source, you can bring it up in any NDI monitor on any other machine on the network, in a studio monitor or NDI monitor on Mac or, or right inside a TriCast or any other NDI device. But what we're going to do here is we're going to actually record into these new MXF recorders and they're going to record into this folder right here, Capture. So let's just stick them into record. It's as simple as powering them up. And what we should see within a few seconds is some files appearing inside here. So there's the first one starting. And this is recording into an XDCAM HD 50 format. Um, and it's using a edit during capture mechanism. So we can actually go straight into, actually we've got to start playing back on the other one. I didn't actually start the player. So why don't we stop this recorder on the package and I'll turn on the player first <laughs> so we've actually got something to record and then we'll start recording and here we will have a recording coming in there it is and just so you can see what we're recording the media player is actually playing this back it's a package playing off disk from ProRes format file but now we've got these files we can actually take them into Adobe Premiere whilst they're recording and start editing so if I drag these two into Premiere. There they are. And what I can do is just create a timeline from this one. And oh, I'll create a timeline from both of them actually. Let's put this one here. So this is the package we're recording off disk. Now I've just dragged that in there and you can see that it's about 10 seconds long. But if I wait a few more seconds, I can actually drag the end out because it's a dynamic recording. And there it is. So now there's more there. We can keep dragging the end out as long as it keeps recording. 
And this is obviously useful for edit during capture, live workflows, where you've got things that are growing files as they're recording. And that's the new MXF recorders. Uh, as I say, it's a XDCAM HD 50 MXF file, growing file, right within the NDI processing engine. And you can add as many of these as you like. If you've got enough CPU power to do all of this stuff, you can just keep adding and adding and adding. Uh, and when you finish recording, just hit stop and then stop. Um, and of course, all of this infrastructure is virtualizable. So it's running on a standard CPU. It doesn't use any additional hardware or even any GPU for most of it. And this means that you can run it on any kind of standard virtual machine, including virtual machines inside Amazon Web Services or Azure or Google Cloud. And this gives you the ability to build a complete broadcast infrastructure in the cloud, combining this with things like our NDI router, um, NDI cloud for upload and download of video, live video. And you can even now get a new tech uh, IP series switcher, which will run in the cloud as well. So you really can build complete broadcast workflows with NDI in the cloud, um, or on-prem, whatever you want. Uh, but any air processing engine is, is doing all of this stuff and it makes the whole thing possible. If you've got any more information you need about NDI processing engine or other Sienna NDI products, go to sienna.tv slash NDI. Thanks for listening.